Hey guys, it's the Nursing Jewel Ruby C and I'm coming at you guys today with a video on what I take with me to clinicals. So what's in my clinical bag? Um, so for my clinicals, we weren't allowed to take a clinical bag with us. We were basically taking whatever fit into our pockets. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what I like to take with me. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by showing you everything that I took with me on my first clinical rotation, which was for fundamentals of nursing. So let's get into it. So first off, a secondhand watch. I got this for Wal from Walmart for $7. And this is good for checking pulse rates. So our school recommended a secondhand watch just because you could count the seconds. And so yeah, $7 at Walmart. So if you need a secondhand watch, definitely go to Walmart. This actually just died and I'm really sad. <laughs> it didn't last me a whole year, but I'm definitely gonna take a trip to Walmart again and get this because it's pretty cheap. Okay, so next is my stethoscope. What every nursing student needs, of course. So wait, I'm gonna wear my neck. It's been a while, guys. I can't wait for clinicals. But yeah, so this stethoscope is Prestige Medical. And I don't know the specific name of it, but um, I think it's called a prog scope or something like that. But yeah, it has a diaphragm and the bell side, and we only use the diaphragm side, but I got this for $20 at the local hospital. The hospital near me has a nursing store, so I basically got this here, this there. I got my pen light, which I'm going to show you. So here's the pen light. So this is good for checking Perla. If you don't know what Perla is, it's pupils equal and reactive to... Pupils equal round reactive to light and accommodation. Oh my God. But yeah, so definitely get a pen light like this because it has the pupil sizes. And so it's good for measuring how the pupils are reactive to light. And all you do is push this side button and boom. So Scrubs and Beyond, that's the name of the store. I think they have an online store as well. So definitely check out Scrubs and Beyond because that's where I got this and this and this is about two dollars it was either 199 or 299 and then like i said this was 20 dollars. so also for clinicals i took my own blood pressure kit and this was given to me by my mom so i wouldn't be able to tell you how much it was but you could find them online you can also find deals online where a kit comes with the blood pressure cuff as well as a stethoscope so definitely save your money, but um, a lot of my friends in clinicals that bought the kits, like the stethoscope ended up breaking. So it was either the stethoscope was cheap or the cuff was cheap. So it might be a better investment to get a separate cuff and stethoscope instead of the kit. But also at Walgreens, they do sell the stethoscope and blood pressure cuff kit. Can you try saying that three times? Like, gosh, okay. So here's how the cuff looks. Cuff right here. This. And the dial. And so I use this a lot because for my school, we were only allowed to take manual blood pressures and we kept practicing over and over and over again. And for our assessments at the end of clinicals, we had to demonstrate how to do a blood pressure on one of our patients and our teacher was there watching us and making sure that it was accurate. So definitely, I suggest getting your own blood pressure cuff um, because our teacher, he let us use his, but when you come home, you need to practice. So definitely get in your own house because I would come home and I would see my dad and I'd be like, Daddy, can I practice my blood pressure on you? He'd be like, sure. So definitely get your own. And also, pens and lots and lots of pens. I probably carried around four pens with me to clinicals just because I'm paranoid like that that I'll lose one but then also because your friends might need a pen like sometimes we all forget sometimes so you just lend them a pen and a notepad so I got this from the Dollar Tree it's the block notes and I didn't get the ones with the lines just because I could write really small so this is how it looks like and this is just my old list of what I needed last semester white socks white leather shoes secondhand watch stethoscope white binder clear sheets which is this and i took out all the old 
sheets in here. So this is basically what it looks like. But you can still see some indented lines. That's basically how I wrote during clinicals. So this is definitely helpful. Everyone needs a notepad in clinicals because you need to write down pulse rates, respiration rate, um, your blood pressures, what your person ate, um, everything under the sun as a nurse you need to write down. And I also use this to write down my nurse's notes. So definitely get you one of these. Only a dollar, a dollar tree. And finally, our teacher gave us one of these folders. And this was basically our bag to carry everything in. And we were allowed to take this into our patient's room. And it's pretty confidential, so no one can look inside. But basically, a big old folder would definitely help. So that's all that I used in my first clinical rotation. Um, I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions about uh, what I did during clinicals, I'm going to do another video on what to expect during your first clinicals and what I it's what I experienced during my first clinicals but yeah so that's what's in my nursing bag well my clinical bag and if this video helped give it a like comment and subscribe thanks guys hey guys I'm coming at you with the one month update of this hair that I have in my head is the AliExpress Beauty Forever Brazilian Body Wave so if you want to learn more about this